It's been rainy, and in case you weren't aware, rain equals mud. That means we can't haul a trailer full of rubble from the cottage with our car. Lincoln has to use the tractor. It's been a lot of back and forth lately. Do you ever do this? Get ready for a project, then once you take a look at it, you're just too overwhelmed and walk away? That's what I did the other day. But this is a project I need to get on top of, and I'll show you what I'll be up to in the next few weeks. You can see we haven't done anything with this barn. We have bicycles in this area, which sort of has a makeshift, I guess, stall for something at one point. This is where we feed some of the cats and I would like to get all of the feral cats out of this area and into our other barn. So this all needs to be cleaned up. The floor in here, there's an old stable door. Uh, these are old troughs here. The idea, is to move the car out of here. And create a workshop since next door is the cottage. So this would certainly make the most sense to have a workshop in here with a big table in the center and then all of the tools in one area because we are constantly walking into different buildings and trying to figure out where things are. So I'm kind of sick of being disorganized. It's taken us this long to figure this out. <laughs> so the car will then be moved over to this other barn, which currently houses so much junk. And I think I've taken you in here before. This is a huge space and it's relatively dry and warm in here. So I think it would be much better for the car. You know, we just have various things in here. We have some furniture in here uh, from the previous owner. I haven't even really looked through this yet, but this shouldn't be too difficult to organize. I just need a, a dry day in order to bring everything out and, and sort of see what we have. I mean, this is just a mess. We have skis. We haven't been skiing since we've moved here. We're all dying to go skiing. So this is um, something I need to tackle in the next couple of weeks in order to get super organized, you know, to really get started on the, on the cottage. The other interesting thing that we were looking at the other day and discussing, there used to be a doorway here and you can see the lintel on top and then there's wood going down the side. And I can show you what this looks like from the opposite side. It's frosty. You called. Yes. Lincoln's freezing. You're a true like California guy. Yeah, even, even, even though, though I'm from New York. you're from New York, <laughs> that's why you moved to California, right? Yeah. So you wouldn't have the cold weather. But this isn't normal. No, this is abnormal. Yeah. yeah. So we're standing in the walled garden opposite the future workshop, and there's a door here. Well, a doorway, yeah, that has been closed up. We're thinking of opening it back up to have access to the workshop from the garden. Which makes a lot of sense because we're constantly doing a ton of walking, trying to find things. Tools. <laughs> Tools. It's just, we basically need like five of everything, but that doesn't make sense. So I think this, this lentil is 
going to have to be replaced. It's pretty soft on that end, but I think there's been a lot of water dripping on it. Right, because there's a gutter that and, was installed. And that might may even be the reason they closed it up. The lentil was um, going to give way, so uh -huh. they just bricked it up because they didn't need it. Right, right. But I don't think that would be such a difficult thing as to replace a lentil. No, there's there's more than one. Okay. So the other the other issue is that we are higher right, the on the garden side. The ground is built up on this side to flatten it a little more. Because it, it's sloped, so to have it slope less, we added soil going this way. So at this point, going inside, it's probably about a foot or a foot and a half lower. Uh huh. And it's possible there's a hidden step here on the outside. If we dig, we'll see. Yeah, I think this this would be a, a really nice thing for everybody. Just having a door and, you yeah. know, accessing tools and mm -hmm. whatnot in there. Yeah. Whatnot. Snacks and <laughs> beverages. Nachos. Nachos. <laughs> Kitty. I think she knows something's happening. <laughs> In our last video, we introduced you to a stray who found Lincoln one evening and then started hanging around for food and scratches. We thought we'd try to capture her. We didn't think the trap was necessary because she was friendly enough, so we set up a dog crate, added a dish of food, And voila, there she was. All right. She's not happy. Okay. Oh, I hate this part. We took her to the vet to check for a chip. She did not have one. She was tested for feline leukemia, dewormed, and scheduled vaccinations in Spain for next week. And we'd like to say a big thank you for those of you who've donated to our feral and stray cat fund. So loud. Yes. We are planning on keeping her provided all goes well with the introduction to the others. It can take quite some time. We always give our cats middle names with the exception of Waffle, a fan favorite. She's got three. The weather here in January is usually pretty gloomy, but I still need to get outside and keep busy for my sanity. Before the cold snap, I needed to plant some daffodils I had forgotten about. Since this planter was too heavy to move inside, I covered it with a board so the bulbs are protected from critters and the elements. I also planted a few tulips in pots and stored them away. 
I'll bring them outside when they begin to sprout. And I've been doing this every year and it always works quite well. starting to rain now. A common question we get regarding our donkeys is, don't they get cold? Do they need blankets? They do not need blankets. They grow a thick fur during the winter. And where we are, it's pretty temperate. So um, it doesn't often go below freezing. Although <laughs> um, coming into this next week, we're, we're headed into um, below freezing temperatures, I think for about a week. So Lincoln is back there in their little house adding straw. So they go into the house, they lie down in the straw. The straw is a protector for them. It keeps them warm if they're wet. Um, straw doesn't um, wick up the, the moisture like hay would. Um, we wouldn't want to put hay in there because hay just gets moist and, and damp. The straw keeps them quite dry. So they're fine out here um, in the cold. You know, it's the rain you, you sort of need to worry about, but um, there's really nothing we can do about it. They, they don't, they wouldn't wear a raincoat. <laughs> um, they have their shelter, so they go in there when they want to get out of the elements. So no need to worry. They don't need blankets like horses. Um, if you've noticed the donkeys in the summertime, they shed and they have sort of a sleek coat to keep them cool. You guys look like supermodels, <laughs> not Lincoln. And during the winter, they, they grow their, their winter coats. So hope that answers your donkey questions. Yeah, you get another half and that's it. They're really only allowed one carrot a day each, but I'm spoiling them today with an extra, I have a little one here, so they're gonna split that. Yeah, okay. One for you, one for you, Miss Uvea. There's nothing else. Starting to rain, guys. We went to our favorite brocante this past weekend. We've been casually looking for items for the cottage like a cast iron tub, bathroom sink, pieces of marble. But this week we gave ourselves a challenge. What could we buy with only 50 euros? 
we actually came in under budget at 45. Not bad. I do seem to be drawn to the quirkier pieces that seem to have been forgotten about and probably have an interesting history. Seriously, Pickle? This particular table caught my eye because of its simplicity. It's got dovetailed drawers and lovely detailing on the legs. It does have a crack on the top, but that really doesn't bother me. I'm always looking for old mixing bowls and pottery, so I feel like I scored this time around. Since Mimi no longer needs her cat chateau, we thought we'd put it outside for others to use. About too level there. <laughs> I think we need to come clip the branches. I think it's better hidden. Yeah. We can try and put the stones in there. Yeah. The yeah, we need to clip these. Well, it's too... Well, yeah. yeah, we're going to have to put some blocks under it. But I think that's... Won't it get cold? Don't they want to be in the sun, though? It's very shaded. Well, I think... I guess it's out of the elements. Shaded is better because it's out of the way. So I think that's a good spot. It's in between two trees. It's elevated. Yeah. It's got two floors. <laughs> There's a, a downstairs with some nice straw. And then there's an upstairs with outdoor access. <laughs> there are little, three little steps. So hopefully something will make a little warm house of cat. I don't know what else. I don't think a fox can fit in there, right? A fox could probably try to fit in there. Yeah, that would be a tight fit for a fox. Yeah. But I think this is good. I just, I think it's pretty secure. We might need to. I think we need to. We could put a couple pieces of slate under it. Yeah, I think, I think we need to revisit the, um, the foundation. Yeah. We need to do some foundation work. <laughs> yes. So, um, that's your job later, okay? Okay. Because I don't want any... Yeah. Uh, lawsuits from the feral cats <laughs> saying that the house is the capsized. Feral cat population. <laughs> yeah. It's, they maybe like a class action lawsuit. Yeah, they that, might that, uh, get together and say, "You ruin us." <laughs> it could ruin us. All right. I think what we need to do though is you need to set up the cat cam Out over here. here. Okay. In this area, so we have a good shot, and we see if anybody is actually. All right. Uh, utilizing the cateau, as we call it, the cat chateau. Didn't they call it that? No, um, I called it that. <laughs> That's a stupid name. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.